Okay, be quiet. Yeah. Are you Garth Large? Yes, Your Honor. And you're Linda Large? Yes. And you're Amber Fox? Correct. And is Pedro Pena with you as well? Yes. Pa it's Pablo. All right. Pablo, all right. Well, everyone, please raise their right hand. You all swear or affirm any testimony you're about to give in this matter will be true to the best of your knowledge and belief. I do. Yes. I do. All right. This is a claim, again, for the statutory limit of small claims, $6,500. Mr. and Mrs. Large were your landlords. We had a previous possession hearing. This is about damages. Looking for that breakdown sheet. <coughs> Uh, the largest claim. First, let's see if we can figure out their figures, and then we'll address your counterclaim figures. So, um, Ms. Large, you contend that rent is November through February at eight fifty per month, three thousand four hundred dollars. Is that correct? Yes. Ms. Fox, what do you say to that? I say that I don't. Go ahead. I said I don't agree with it because every month that I lived there until we got a court date, I texted her every month and asked her if she wanted me to deposit the rent money in the bank because I was still there, and she told me no that she had told the bank not to accept my payments. Well, once they start a landlord tenant termination action, they can accept your money. Um, so do you acknowledge that you didn't pay November, December, January, or February's rent? Yeah. All right. <laughs> then, uh, Mr. Uh, no. Large, you you had to get a dumpster, six hundred fifty dollars. That's correct, Your Honor. How much stuff was in there? We had 30, 30 yard. only one person could talk at a time. It was a thirty-yard dumpster. It was completely full. And we have pictures of it. So, why don't you let me see those pictures? So, did you hire someone or you went in and emptied this all out? I did it myself and uh, put them line. This is Bruce's statement of what it will look like. Uh, the little pictures are before they moved in, and the big pictures is well, how the they left is, it. You're here live and they're not. So, right. it's going to be very difficult for them to see these. Uh, they're all dated. Oh, my. Yeesh. All right. So, all right, we have six fifty for a dumpster. Uh, roach infested, uh, eighty five seventy eight. What is that? Did you get a treatment or something? He bought he bought treatment stuff and and did it himself. It was full of roaches. <clears throat> uh, bathroom cabinet at top one ten. Motor eliminator, 60. Door locks, $35. Broken windows, 318. Wall repair, holes in walls, 4142. Dog, $25 per month. Does the lease say that? Yes. Yeah. So that's how long is that a year. Uh, i think i don't know how long they had it i assumed a year they never let us know they were supposed to get prior permission did you have a dog there yeah but garth knew about it when our main water line broke because my my twin showed him the dog uh, we'll put a question mark regarding that um Doors and knobs, 287.66. Bathroom cabinet, $18. Labor, Bobby Wright. Uh, that's the person that helped you under the dumpster. Yes, Your Honor. Wow. 
All right, so that adds up to $7,300 minus the $800 deposit is $6,500. We'll put a question mark regarding the dogs. Do you agree that the deposit was 800? Yes. Are you talking about Miss Fox? Yes. Yes. All right, so that is applied to any damages. How did the place get so wrecked up? I don't see how it was wrecked up because I had been going through there was not there was already holes in the wall that we've been that we had a repaired a whole bunch. I, I've been painting it, we've been fixing the cupboards. There was a few kitchen cupboards that was broken that we hadn't fixed. The whole bathroom upstairs never worked. Every time the bathtub or the shower or whatever was turned on, it flooded in my bedroom downstairs. Garth told me that he went through and he fixed all that. So I had to wait an extra week to move in when we first moved in. But in all reality, what happened is he went up there and he put back or black um, leaf bags in the ceiling. So Thanksgiving day, the bag must have got too much water because it fell through and it ruined the whole bedroom ceiling like all the tiles fell out on my bed it ruined my twins's brand new toddler bed it ruined my laptop. Well, let's talk about that this is your counterclaim you've got water and sewer 1186 what's that about um well when i was there i paid the last bill but when i got this i called the city and the lady told me that this november and december was actually for like september and october and the january and february was for november and december because they bill ahead like i don't know i didn't understand that either so i agree to that because if it's my bill it's my bill all right uh so dumpster 650 all right these are his you got Plaintiff owes me, I believe, uh, Terminex for roaches and termites that was told about when I moved in. Two thousand thirty-four ninety-six. What's that? Um, I texted um Linda and I told her that I had been seeing um little bugs all around the house. Um, she told me that she would have Garth come over there and look at it, which never happened. I woke up, I want to say maybe about two weeks later, and the front room that we used for the twins' bedroom, um, I don't remember which one it was, their bed was by the window, and when I woke up to go out there to check on them, they had termites all over them. I well, did you them. hire Terminex? Um, yep, because they wouldn't take care of nothing there. Linda kept telling me all that. All right, so you spent $2,034.96 of your money? I did, yep, and I actually have the contract in my email, which I didn't know how to get it to you guys because I called them to get this for you. All right, we'll come back to that. Upstairs bathroom, 650. Your Honor, could I comment on that? Oh, I said we'll come back to it. Okay. We'll let you respond when it's your turn to respond. Okay. Um, now, oh my God. <clears throat> this is their contention this is hard to see but i'll hold these up of what the property looked like when you rented it i can't see none of those yeah well i'm doing the best i can um what? here's the room when you they rented it to you and here's what it looked like when you left can't see I, I, yeah i can't see none of those Uh, you can't see that view? No, I can see like me, but I. Me? All right. No. Well, the place is trashed. There's okay, junk well, all over the place. 
the pictures from when you rented it looked very clean and neat. Uh, you can't see them, but every room is freshly painted, clean floors. Okay, well, they didn't paint nothing, so that's incorrect because I told Garth and Linda that I would paint to be able to move in faster. So there was nothing no freshly painted when I moved in. That's a lie. When did you move in? These pictures are dated uh, 1031 of 2020. I moved, I signed a lease on 11 one of 20, but I can guarantee you that there was no freshly painted nothing because I agreed to do it. You can, I mean, we're under oath. So ask Linda, did I not volunteer to paint her whole house just so we could be able to move in? Oh my gosh. The toilet is deplorable. Um, oh, the, 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 the upstairs toilet never that worked. never worked. They would do nothing about it. We tried fixing they, they said if you don't. They, I tried fixing the bathroom. We put new pipe. Yeah, hold on a minute. We put all brand new pipes underneath the bathtub because every time the bathtub was used upstairs, it would flood downstairs in my bedroom and ruin everything. That bathroom all never worked. The whole three years we were there. We put in the new wall right there by the bathtub. We fixed all of that. All <laughs> right. Um, well, <coughs> let's see what we can figure out. Miss Mrs. Large, yes. these pictures are dated October 31st of 2020. Are yes. these pictures that you took that day? Yes. And are they They're fair and accurate pictures camera. of what it looked like just before the day before they moved in? Right. Did the upstairs bathroom work? Yes. Well, I um, have a sign. Johnson's are the ones who moved out on the 31st. Actually, Amber approached her because they were being evicted. We felt sorry for them. And we we told them they were in a hurry. They, they could move in on the kindness of our heart, but they'd have to accept it as is. But as you can see from the pictures, it was in very good shape. I mean, it was clean. I have a... Well, did she paint it? She did paint it, but she painted the colors she wanted to paint, all dark gray and so black. So those, those reds and blues that are there, that was the way it looked the day before they moved in. Right, right. yes, all right. And absolutely. then she, she painted it other colors. Yeah. Okay. All right, now... There's junk everywhere. When they moved out, doors are broken. There's trash everywhere. There's a clogged toilet, which I don't feel compelled to share that picture. Um, it's in deplorable shape. So from November of 20, and they moved out in February of 22. Watch this. So they were there about 14 months. Um, all right, now she claims that the ceiling broke loose and some of her property was flooded. What can you tell me about that? I have a signed statement and it's dated from Johnson's that moved on the 31st of October. It's from Penny. She says, when I moved, the ceiling in the bedroom was not leaking. Also, we did not have any cockroaches and never saw any termites. Did you hand that to the bailiff? <laughs> uh, when I moved in, the ceiling in the bathroom was not leaking. Also, we did not have any cockroaches and never saw any termites. Termites are a little slipperier, but the way this property looked, I can see why it had cockroaches. Um, uh, so did they tell you that the bathroom was, this is the downstairs ceiling? Yes, it's downstairs bedroom, uh, the bathroom right above it. And I went in there and I checked it out and looked at it, thought I had it fixed. Okay. And uh, I guess it kept on leaking. And then I asked- What them, was the source of the leak? Uh, the drain. The, so, the, tub. the drain in the tub? Yes. I changed that. It, 
I also Say called that again. you. I, I, just a minute. I changed, Go ahead. I changed, we changed all of that. We took the wall well, that's, down. That's not something a tenant does. That's something the landlord does. He, but every time I would call Linda and tell her that there was a problem, Linda would tell me I could either fix it or they would condemn the house. And we'll kick you out. <laughs> every time they came to the house, if there was an issue about the house being so dirty or so wrecked or whatever, why didn't they say nothing? My house was always clean. I'm not saying that I didn't put trash on the back porch, but I can guarantee you that the house was not dirty. So when I left, there was trash on the back that I asked, I texted Linda and asked her if I could come in, if I could have until tomorrow to get dump passes in a trailer to get all the bags of trash and everything off the back porch. No, we want you Linda told me no, that I she would not know that there was a rig. Okay, that's fine. What am I supposed to do with it? If I don't have a way to move it because one of my cars was down, I had my friends helping me get the stuff out that I that I needed to get out of there. They even took my furniture and cut it and put it on the front of the road that wasn't even mine. It was rent a center. So now not only do I owe them, as they're saying that I owe them, I owe rent a center for furniture that I had just got that is no good to me because somebody cut it up and put it outside to the front yard. So when rent a center pulled up to get it, they called me and had me come over there because somebody cut it all up and threw it outside. Well, that's your honor. Stop. I don't know how to show you these pictures. Okay, so then can we adjourn it and get an in court date? Because I'd love to bring in my receipt and contract from Terminex. I'd love to bring in my receipt from when me and my sister both fell through the deck and she wouldn't replace no boards and made me pay for the boards to be fixed. Like people for the bathroom. Yeah. Penny and Penny asked for a penny. Yeah, okay, there might have not have been a leak when Penny lived there, but Garth himself knows that there there was a leak because he tried telling me that it was the it was the guts of the toilet. So he was trying to figure it out before I moved in. Linda knows herself that I called her Thanksgiving morning. I apologize for calling her on a holiday, but I told her, I don't know what Garth put up in the ceiling, but a big black leaf bag just fell through all over my bed and ruined everything she even got upset with garth and told garth why would you put a why would you put a leaf bag in the ceiling garth tried saying that i had to have did it all the ceiling tiles was already up before i moved in so there's no way that i could have been able to put a leaf bag in the ceiling and to my knowledge garth got the problem fixed so there would be no reason for me to put a leaf bag in the ceiling all right then, uh, and then okay when the slow, ceiling, slow down slow down uh, you claim that you hired Terminex, but you do have a receipt that you paid them that amount of money? Yep. I got it in my email. What do you know about that? Nothing. They never, they never approached us. They never said anything to us. We feel that would have been our responsibility if, and we and they accepted the place as is it's right on the front of the contract well as is there has to be a minimum covenant of habitability did the city inspect this property when was it last inspected uh, i think it was like a year ago and, and it looked good then it did when we went in we thought well, it, it looked looks good. i'm ashamed of looking at these pictures uh they're in fact, all the toilets are just, I can't even stand a look at them. Uh, why someone would leave a house like that. And there is a full dumpster and there's junk everywhere inside and out. And so uh, we've got to determine that. What I'm trying to determine, there's also the garage seems to be just full of garbage. That's it. And there's needles. There's yes. a picture of needles. There were spoons when we moved in in the garage. <laughs> that was all there. Yeah. All right. Yes, you're going to have to be here live to see these pictures, and we're going to have to. But in the mean, but in the meantime, no, hold on. But in the meantime, Penny told me that two days after I moved out, Garth had to chase a whole bunch of people out of the house and off the property and all that. So, um. Did 
how can right. that, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, all right, well, all right, slow down. Did were there ever squatters in there after they left? Nobody was there the day after Garth was working in the house. We had a lady come and she says, That grocery cart that's in your yard has some of my stuff in it. Can I get it? We had, um, Two days after they moved out, the mailbox disappeared, but there was mail in those two days um, from um, people. Terry Wilson was getting mail there. Mike and Peggy Herring was getting mail there. Um, they had her sister-in-law, Hannah, and Brandon living there. And I'm definitely that lady with that had stuff in the shopping cart. She was living there, but nobody's had been in the house at all. The shopping cart. Yeah, we We've it. been there. My husband has been there almost every single day since February working on that house. Mm. All right, Miss Fox. Yep. Um, did these other people also live there? I don't know who the lady with the shopping cart is. But did Terry but Wilson live there? She did not. I don't. I don't did even Mike know why. Her Penny, Mike and Penny Herring live there. Penny was um, the past residents. Yeah, them was the past residents. There was mail for Bradley Huey coming there. Mike That's Johnson. Right. There. Were, when I went to the post office, there is a. There's about 27 people's mail going there. Not. That's just not since I've lived there. Okay. All right. Who else lived there during the time you were there? Uh, me, Pablo, and the kids. She swears up and down that Brandon and Hannah lived there. Brandon and Hannah did not live there. I can have people over at my house without her controlling my household. She she tried telling me who could and couldn't be at my house, who could stay the nights there, who couldn't stay the nights there. I do what I want to do when I'm paying her my rent faithfully every month. All right. Well, you're using the belligerent technique you trash these people's house and you're not slightly even remorseful about any of it. You're all indignant okay, but about your thing. Not stop, stop. Um, <laughs> and so it might work with somebody, but it doesn't work with me. So these pictures are embarrassingly bad. You also owe several months of rent, which is not in dispute. Why? So this claim is going to be substantial. What I'm trying to determine is whether there's a set off for your damages. Um, they've supported their claim for $6,500. I'm trying to determine whether there should be some set off from your claim. Uh, normally, if these pictures were scanned in, we could screen share and you could see them. But this is small claims court and people are technically savvy but we're gonna have to be here now their claim is that your claim is you've hired terminex regarding termites why you would do that i don't know that's the kind of thing you would take to the landlord but i did uh, i did all right, all right, well, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll determine that so we're going to continue this okay for live proceedings Okay. The irony is you'll get a judgment. You're going to have a very difficult time getting any money collected on it. Right. Right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We're going to continue this to Monday, July 10th at 3 o'clock. Does that work for you guys? Mm -hmm. Live. Um. Uh, the before and after, after pictures are uh, telling. Uh, 
Mr. And Mrs. Large, it would also be helpful if you can get from the city of Three Rivers your last date of inspection, rental inspection. Do that. Uh, I'd like you to bring in any other documentation you have, Ms. Fox, including your Terminex uh, bill. Okay. Uh, if it's for termites, it's one thing. If it's for roaches, I'm not surprised that there are roaches if the place looked like this. Uh, but um, we'll see what we can figure out. As I indicated, I believe they have established their side of the case. I'm trying to determine the set off for your counterclaim. So we'll continue this to live July 10th at 3 p.m. <coughs> All right, we'll address it. I've got a couple other cases. We should have a good hour and a half or so to devote to this. All right, Ms. Fox, I'll see you then. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.